Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm kind of sick, so sorry about that. Sorry that I had to turn the light, main light off because it was affecting the camera. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my montages for Fortnite and the Rocket League one that I did recently. I'm actually... The video's up by now, but like... The Rock League video, I'm actually still in the middle of recording, so I'll be able to add it, so that in. But if you haven't seen that, there'll be a card up, like, I think there or there to it. You'll see it pop up. The white little card. And, yeah. Um, I'm going to show you how I make them and how I actually do it. So, yeah. First thing that I do is I click the power button on my Epic Gaming PC. So, if you have a gaming PC, you click the power button and your PC set up starts to... Turn on and you type in your password. I'll just quickly type it in. Okay, there. Then what you do is you get your USB. Ah, fuck. Anyway, so as I was saying, you get your USB and you plug it in. To a USB port to a USB port, not the a USB port. I should come up on your screen, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's step one and two. I guess next thing you want to do is get your music a choice. Now, nobody likes the crappy PlayStation music, so what you want to do is uh, NCS dubstep. As you can see, it's there. My top search dubstep, and then just find you know music a choice. So when you find music you like, I like this song here, I'll probably use it in a different video, but um, what you're going to want to do is you want to hit share, and you want to hit this link here, you want to hit the copy button. Once you do that, it'll say you have copied the link, and then you want to go over to YouTube MP3. You want to hit paste, you want to hit convert, you want to hit download. And it'll start downloading there. You want to hit show in folder. Once it's finished downloading, which it will be in a second, you want to an MP3 file. You want to go grab this. First things first, you want to go down to here. You want to grab this and drag it into your USB key, whatever the name of it is. As you can see, it's right there. You want to drop it into your Share Factory folder. And once it's in your Share Factory, you want to drop it into your Music folder. Then once it's in your Music folder, you can go X out of this. And then we can take our USB key out and we can head down to the PlayStation. The way I forgot to mention that you have to create a folder on your computer in your site or USB called Share Factory. And then you want to create a folder inside that folder called the music. And it has to be specifically share factory, all small letters. And you create a folder inside that called music, all small letters. And that's how it works. Otherwise, it won't work. Yeah, back to the video. What you want to do is you want to grab your USB port and you want to plug it into the US. Your USB into the USB port. Like that. And it'll go red. Then, what you want to do... You want to hit into Share Factory. You want to hit Import Content, Import Music. You can do this with videos as well. It works the same way. So uh, import from USB. It'll start loading music tracks. What you want to do is you get your track or tracks. You can have done multiple. You can do multiple at the one time. And we want to hit Import Select. It'll start to import it, and there, it has now been imported. So what you want to do now is, uh, by the way, this can be used for any game, not just Rocket League, is you want to, obviously you'd have a new project, but like, you'd want to get um, your clips and add in your clips and your music. So let's just grab them clips, and you want to hit add clips. So once the clips are added, they're going to look, you know, as you can see, this is very vibrant, this is very faded. And this is super cinematic and you want that cinematic look you're going to want to hit um, add filter then what you're going to want 
to do is you are going to want to add saturation to it. Then you want to add that to both the clips. And then what you want to do is you want to hit add layout. You want to go down to the 21.40.1 aspect. This one, the very cinematic looking one. And then that's your finished project. So it'll look like this. By the way, sorry about the camera. It's just easier to record like this at the moment. Anyway, so to get them freeze frame moments on like beat drops and stuff that I do, usually is you just take a screenshot. This is a screenshot here and then you edit it. So you take a screenshot of the very final moment there. That's where I took it. So then it goes straight into it. And then I just took a screenshot there, then edited the screenshot to make it look like this. So then it'll end up looking like this. So that's just using screenshots and then editing the screenshot. So yeah, that's how you really do it. And um, that's the very cinematic look I get with it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah. If you guys did enjoy this video, leave a big fat thumbs up. Remember to subscribe up there, up there, down the right, or anywhere on the screen. This is how I make most of my montages. So yeah, bye.